Hello again, this is Anita with Crazy About Captivate, bringing you another video tutorial. In the last tutorial, you learned about syncing your video audio with closed captions so that the closed captions have a scrolling effect. In this lesson, you'll learn how to do that with regular audio narration on a slide. So in other words, maybe you have quite a bit of audio narration on one slide, but you don't want to have more than three lines dedicated to the closed caption box because it takes up a lot of real estate on your slide for content. So you want to create a scrolling effect for your closed captions that is synced with the audio narration. There are actually two ways to accomplish this. One way is similar to the way I showed you on how to sync your video audio. First, select your slide. I'm assuming you've already recorded your audio narration or inserted the audio onto the slide. As you can see, it is on this slide at the bottom of the timeline. Then go up to your main toolbar and select audio, select edit, and then edit slide. Click the closed caption button on the top. Use the scroll bar to view all of your audio. There are three ways to zoom your audio on the timeline. Use the scroll bar at the top or roll your mouse over the number until you see a double headed arrow and then click and hold your mouse while you drag to change the number. Alternatively, you can type in the zoom number. Then click the play button at the top to listen to your audio and click pause, the same button as play, to pause the audio. FYI, don't click the stop button. It will take you back to the beginning. Click the large plus sign to create a row and either type in your audio or paste it in. Do not click enter on your keyboard to get to the next row. Either click the plus sign or click play again until you get a good stopping place and click pause. Click your plus sign and type in or paste your text into the row. Click the play icon again until you reach a good stopping place and then click pause. Click the plus sign, type in or paste your text. Repeat that until you have completed all your audio text in the rows. Notice that there are numbered markers on your timeline now and you can roll your mouse over the marker until you see a hand and click and drag this marker if you want to change where it is set. To change the closed caption setting, click the CC Project Settings button and make the adjustments you want. By default, the background is set at 50% transparent, which in my opinion can get a little confusing to the student if there is anything underneath, like images or other text. However, if you have buttons underneath, the closed caption box will cover it, so the student will not be able to see them if you don't have it as transparent. So these are the type of considerations you need to make when you're creating your course. The closed captions box will take up some real estate at the bottom of your slide. In this case, there's a logo in the bottom left hand corner and I don't want my closed caption text to be over the logo. So I'm going to make it 100% alpha so that the closed caption box is not transparent at all. And then make any other adjustments you want to your font and click OK. Then click Save and then click Close. By default, closed captions is turned off, so you need to go to Project in your main toolbar and select Skin Editor, and then at the bottom, click on the closed caption text box. Notice that the slide notes now has all your text inserted. Then go to the preview icon or use your F keys to preview. As you can see, the closed caption scroll syncing perfectly with the audio narration. Another way to sync the audio is to add your text to the slide notes first. Go to the slide you want to add the closed captions to. Again, I'm assuming you've already recorded or imported your audio onto your slide. Select the slide notes tab. If you can't see it, go to window in the main toolbar and select slide notes. Then click the plus sign to add a row and type or paste your first line. Then click the plus sign again to add your next line and add your text. Continue this until you've added all your text. Then click the closed captions checkbox. If you click the top box, it will check all of the boxes you have in the slide notes. Note, if you want to change the order of the audio in the slide notes, click the top of the specific slide note. It will turn a blue color. Hold your mouse down and drag it up or down to the location you want. Then click the close caption button and you will see the same dialog box we had before. Note if you decide you want to change the location of any of the markers, roll your mouse over the marker until you see a hand and then click and drag it to the location you want. Then click save and click close. 
preview your project. Thanks for joining us and I hope you learned something. Feel free to leave comments on the blog and be on the lookout for more tutorials from Crazy About Captivate.